uh, Kay Morrison, the by-election here in Bush Fair, um, when you lost by four votes, did you just feel like, go did you just go home and think, I'm just going to quit this business? <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't a good feeling. It was not a good feeling. But we know that whether it's four votes or one vote or 40 votes, it's whoever wins that matters. You know, I actually congr congratulated the candidate that night. I shook his hand and I said more or less those words. I said, congratulations, well done, you won. It doesn't matter if it's one vote or four or 40, you did it. He did look a bit dazed and I think I know why now. <laughs> okay, moving on, because we've, you know, we've done those stories, etc. And we did ask, one of the questions, and it, it, you know, we did ask Robert Halfon a few days later, why did Mr. Lorenzini, why do you think he felt so comfortable in the modern day Conservative Party? Um, but we move on from that. What, what are the, what have been, I asked you this in May, I asked you in June, are the issues still standing, things like cost of living uh, in, in, in Bush Fair? Yes, the issues are the same as they were a month ago or so. Um, potholes, parking, housing, the hospital, you know, all of the same issues that still need to be addressed. And then there are others to do with maintenance, so grassy areas, people are complaining quite a lot about those things. And there are other much, much more localised issues. I now have a list of things that I really do need to tackle. And uh, so I have a, a little bag of work to do already. You've been a councillor before, haven't you? Uh -huh. Up, up in yes. up in Fife in Scotland, yeah. and is it the same thing basically? As if, whether you're in Glenrothes or here in Nicklefield in Harlow, these are really the same issues. <laughs> there are very very similar issues wherever you live. It has to be said, and whichever local authority it happens to be, but there are also differences, and it's important that I should remember that. I was a councillor on a large unitary authority. Harlem Council has its own character. It's an individual sort of a place and it's absolutely crucial that I should bear that in mind at all times. But the important thing is that I'll be focusing on local issues, on the bits of work that people need me to do, getting my teeth into them and not letting go. And that's, that's, you know, some would say that tenaciousness has been uh, an example of that, is the fact this is your fourth time. <laughs> but, you you know, you just at least look like I'm just... It just bounces off you, doesn't it, Kay? Really? A few friends up I'm, in Scotland I'm, just say, that's Kay for us. I'm, well, they do say that uh, I am uh, a little bit, how shall I put it, intrepid, fearless, all of those things, not easily deterred. Uh, but I do feel things. You know, I'm not as tough as I look, or sound even. Um, however, because it's Bush Fair, because I live in Bush Fair, because it was within my grasp last time, four votes are very, it's a very, very small number, then obviously I was going to stand again. And I've been giving it all I've got. We've been campaigning very, very hard for the last few weeks, and we'll keep on doing that right until 10 o'clock Thursday.